Welcome to our online holiday club. It's great to have you with us. My name is Johnny and I'm the children's and families outreach worker here at St George's. Over the next three days, we are gonna be exploring the idea of prayer in a series that we've called Talking to God. We're gonna look a little bit about what is prayer? Why is it important? How uh, do we pray? And we're also going to do a little bit of learning about the Lord's Prayer, the very first prayer that Jesus gives to his disciples. Hopefully you have got your craft uh, bag with all your bits and pieces in. We're going to be needing those a little bit later on uh, in our time together. We're going to play some games, uh, we're going to sing some songs do some craft activities and hopefully give you something to keep you busy during this half term. Over the next three days, we're going to look at the Lord's Prayer and we're going to learn that prayer uh, a little bit of time uh, over the next few days. That might be a prayer that you already know, um, but it might be a prayer that you're not very familiar with. So we're going to learn it with some actions uh, to help us pick it up uh, today. So the words will appear um, on the screen, you can follow along at home and follow along with the actions as well. So it goes like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We're going to do that again at the end of today's video and over the next few days as well. So I'm sure you will pick it up by the time we get to day three. Uh, we are going to play a game uh, to kick off uh, today's uh, video. It's an odd one out challenge. So on the screen, you're going to see a picture with lots of uh, emojis, lots of different characters filling the screen. One of them is an odd one out and it doesn't belong with the rest of the pictures. So play along with whoever you're watching with. There are five to guess. See if you can spot the odd one out. five of those odd one outs. We're going to do a different emoji game tomorrow and another one on day three as well. Now in your uh, gift bags you should have one of these colour and pray sheets. Now this is something we're going to do over the next uh, three days. You can colour that in however you would like. It's got a little bit of a cross on it. And this bit down here is a little bit like a rainbow. So you might want to colour that in, in perhaps some rainbow colours. But you need to leave <clears throat> the, bots at the, the bits at the bottom here, you need to leave white. Because each day, we would love you to add <clears throat> two people each day that you would like to pray for. Now they could be people from your family, they might be your friends, they might be teachers at school, they might be people that you know, but we're going to add two people each day. So colour that in, perhaps when the video is finished, and then think about uh, two people you'd like to pray for and write their names in those white spaces at the bottom. We'll add another two tomorrow and another two uh, on Wednesday. So that is something 
for you to have a go at, perhaps when the video is finished, um, colour it in maybe a bit of time and then think about who are those two people that you would like to pray for because it's really important we pray for people that fill our lives, people we know and maybe even people who we don't know. Now, we are going to sing uh, a song which is going to appear on the screen. We're going to sing the same song um, every day. Uh, it's a song that's entitled Speak Your Name. We've called this series Talking to God because prayer is just like talking to God. Just the way I'm talking to you now, the way you would talk to anyone else, all prayer is, is talking to God. And this song reminds us that whether we're feeling happy or a bit sad all we need to do is talk to God and to speak God's name into our life and God will look after us. So let's have a go. Watch the video. You can sing, you can dance, you can play some instruments if you've got them in your homes. And let's worship together. Close my 
Wonderful, I hope you enjoyed that song. We're gonna sing it again tomorrow and again on Wednesday, so you've got plenty of time uh, to get to know it. We are gonna do our craft activity now and have a little bit of a think about some of the words of uh, the Lord's Prayer. So we're gonna take the prayer in three sections. So today, we're gonna to explore the very first section that says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, the beginning of that prayer is all about celebrating how big and how amazing God is. Uh, the word hallowed is a funny word. We don't use it very much today, um, but it really just means holy. It means special. So what we're saying there is our Father in heaven, how special, how amazing, how great is your name. And then when we say your kingdom come, your will be done, we're praying for kind of God's will to be done in our life um, uh, as, in, as in heaven. So heaven is this amazing picture um, of God's perfect world where there's no sickness and everybody gets on with each other uh, and everybody has such a great time. So when we pray that bit of the prayer, we're asking some of that to happen in our everyday life, to get on with everybody, to enjoy life, to enjoy the things that we love to do. It's really important we start our prayers by acknowledging how amazing and how big God is. And the first few lines of the Lord's Prayer are helping us do that by acknowledging how great and how awesome God's name is and praying for some of the special things in heaven to start to happen down on earth today. Now, in your bags, we are going to make our little uh, Lord's Prayer um, to help us remember some of those lines. So in your bag, you should have lots of these lolly sticks. There should be eight uh, of those uh, lolly sticks in your bags. And you should have lots of your lines of the Lord's Prayer cut up into little slips. And all you're going to do is take your glue stick, which is in your bag as well, stick some across your lolly stick, and then stick your line of the Lord's Prayer on your stick like that. Do that with all um, eight, and then you will need some tape, which hopefully you've got lying around in your house. You need to line up all of your lolly sticks and stick them together by putting one strip down that side and one strip down that side so they don't all fall apart. And then you've got the Lord's Prayer together, which you can keep. Um, you might want to attach a little bit of string. You could hang that up somewhere or you could put it around somewhere. But it's to remind you of those lines that we've looked at. We've looked at the first uh, three today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Those first three lines are the bit that we've looked at. Um, today and we're going to look at the other few sections as we journey through and as we look uh, at those other bits and discover a little bit about what they mean. So um, let's have a go at our actions again. See if you can remember them from the beginning part of our video. So it goes, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Brilliant. So you can pause the video if you would like, have a go at that craft, have a go at your colouring sheet as well and, and name uh, those people who you would like to pray for uh, today. We will be back tomorrow at uh, nine o'clock on YouTube where you can watch tomorrow's video. Uh, there'll be another game, another craft activity and we'll look at the next section in our Lord's Prayer. Have a fantastic day, a brilliant week and we will see you tomorrow.